So hello everyone. I'm Shreyana. Welcome back in this machine learning tutorial series. So in the previous videos, uh, we saw what is the random forest and uh, we went through the like the basic definition of the random forest and how uh, how from the different trees we get uh, uh, an average like an average value uh, and an average uh, structure of the tree so that we can have a very effective uh, algorithm and that is what a random forest is. So now in this video, I'm going to take a demo of a random forest and uh, we will see how we can implement it. Okay. So uh, I have uh, imported uh, a load iris data set uh, from, uh, from the SQLearn data set uh, module and uh, I have uh, now uh, transferred the load uh, iris uh, to iris and uh, uh, with that, I tried to know the different directories and uh, different uh, mm, like uh, things that are there in the iris. That is uh, uh, data, data modules, features names, file name, train, target and target names. And now uh, with, with the help of pandas, I tried to know the like the, what are the different uh, data. That, that is top 5 data that is there in the iris uh, data set that we have. Uh, with the help of head functions and uh, also we tried to uh, store the data data sets as the data frame that is uh, with the with the function data frame and uh, after that uh, uh, i and this is uh, the like the basic structure of uh, the data set that we have that is it have four column is uh, sepal length sepal width sepal length pet, uh, petal length petal width and we don't have a species here uh, as in the previous video that is in the previous uh, slides or in the previous examples of uh, like uh, uh, decision trees or we can say logistic uh, or linear regression uh, in, in one of those I have used IS data set and uh, we have saw that we have a species also but here we don't have a species and uh, with the help of sklearn uh, I tried to import uh, that is train test split and uh, after that, I try to uh, store like uh, that um, on which uh, column that I want to work on. That is a uh, petal length or uh, an axis. Uh, I have used is uh, axis is basically the column axis uh, which have features name. Okay, and after that, I try to like divide the trend uh, trend test on test size. And uh, here I have divided test size as 0.2. That is, we have a pro approximately 20% data as the test size and 80% as trend test. After that, I try to import a random forest classifier from SQL or uh, assemble. Uh, after that, uh, I call the random forest function and uh, with the estimation that is total number of trees for uh, for taking the into the consideration is 70 and I store that into the model and after that I fit, uh, fitted um, the model with the help of X train and Y train uh, and uh, with that I, I run it like uh, after that uh, as you can see the estimation number of estimation or number of trees that we are using is 70 and uh, again after that i try to know the like what is this actual score uh, with that um, that is how much times it is giving the accurate result uh, with for that i have used uh, that is model dot is score that is score and uh, for that i have uh, uh, passed the parameter of x test and y test uh, X test uh, basically contains the like the values that are that are being uh, used that is that is being used for testing the model as we have already um, trained the model using the model dot fit and uh, uh, with that uh, we found that uh, um, that uh, num the percentage that is uh, uh, number of times that we are getting uh, the result is uh, 0 0.9 uh, I think I have changed uh, something that is a uh, no change so like 80 we should see what is the change here no change here also I think um, we should try to get more and more result I think I should change 
with a length uh, with so that we we can have variable like uh, different result so i think i have missed one bracket here after that so here on with the help of simple width we are getting like 0.93 percent maybe it may be that there will be not so much change for the petal length in centimeter but there will be large variation in the simple width so with that we have the model score value as 0.93 that is 0.93 which is 93 percent times we are getting the true result and uh, after that we have the like uh, different classifier on uh, estimator that is 40 and uh, model dot fit that is x train and y train and model score that is x test y, y test and on that basis we are getting like uh, we are again also on the with the estimator of 40 because these uh, both the estimators are we are getting we are taking as 40 only so we are getting the exact result that is 0.933 so you can uh, after implementing up to this line that is after implementing uh, up to this point uh, up to this point uh, you can you can like change the like number of trees you want to have on, on which you want to implement random forest classifier you can change the value and according to that uh, you need to just write this code as well because it is finding that how many times the test uh, test set is giving us the the correct result and uh, I'm assigning you a task that you can uh, like uh, you can get uh, you can also get confusion matrix for this uh, you can view the previous videos where I have used confusion matrix um, or uh, where I have showed you how to make confusion matrix so for for this result as well you can create a confusion matrix and uh, using the like predict uh, predict functions as well and uh, with that you can create a confusion matrix so far in this video that's all hope you liked it and enjoyed it and stay blessed